Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this rocker arm. And this is a good exercise to learn about the loft feature. So let's start a new part file and see how we can create it. To create this part, we'll start a new part file and click OK. Next, we are going to change our unit to millimeter. Select options. Under document properties. Select unit and select millimeter and click OK. We'll select the front plane and on the sketch tab, select sketch. Going to go number two. Then let's draw a line. Draw a line from this point, our origin point coming out like that. And we'll draw another line from the origin point at an angle like that. Let's add the dimension. The angle between this line and that line is going to be 120. The length of this line is going to be 254. Then let's click OK. Then we are going to add a relation. Select this line. Hold it down the control key. Select this line. Add an equal relation. So those two lines are equal to each other. If I was to add the dimension here, a line, it should be 254. Next, we are going to draw three circles. One up here, one down here, and one here. We are going to select this circle and that circle. Holding down the control key, select both and make them equal to each other. Then let's add our dimension. This diameter of this circle is going to be 38.1. And the diameter of this is going to be 63.5. I'm going to move that so you can see. Let's select all this. So you can left click. To select everything, left click somewhere here and just drag like that to select everything and click for construction to make everything a construction line. Now let's add another line. We are going to add a line here coming up. We are also going to add a line here. So let's use the midpoint line. Use the midpoint. I'll start at that point and I'll just drag it until I touch that circle. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll select the midpoint, drag it until I touch that circle. Let's add some dimension. I'll click the dimension. The angle between this line and that line is going to be 60. And we're also going to give it a length. So select the line, make sure it is an aligned click and it is going to be 65. So let's move everything around so you can see what's going on. I'll move this over here. Select that line and make it a construction line. Make this line a construction line too. And to make this line fully defined, select this line and this line and add a perpendicular relation. Then you can select that line and make it a construction line. We have a fully defined sketch. This is just our foundational sketch. Everything looks good. We can exit our sketch. And you should have something like this. Let's select the front plane again. And let's draw a sketch on it. So we'll draw a line. So before we draw the line, select this circle and click convert entity to convert it to that sketch. Then let's draw a line from this point that is coming down to this circle, something like that. And let's draw another line from this point that is touching this circle, something like that for now. I'm going to zoom in, select that circle and that line. Add a tangent relation and we'll do the same thing over here and add a tangent relation. Then we can use the trim tool 
trim that excess out if you have any excess. Next, let's select the spline. So under here, select the spline, the first one. Click this first point. Let me zoom in so you can see. Click this point and click that point. Then right click and press select. Now select that spline and this line. Add a perpendicular relation. We are going to do the same thing here. Select the spline and the line and add a perpendicular relation. So you should have something like this and we are going to exit our sketch. Next, let's create some reference plane. So come to feature. On that reference geometry, select that drop down. And first I'm going to unselect my sketch. So make sure nothing is blue. Then on that feature tab, come to reference geometry and select your plane. Our first reference plane, we are going to select the front plane. And for the second reference, we are going to select this line. So you can see that plane is on that line and we are going to click OK. To make sure that your plane is just as big as your sketch, what we can do is select the plane here, right click on it and click auto resize. I'm going to do it for all the planes, auto resize. Now if I select the plane, the plane is just as big as my sketch. Next we are going to create another plane here. So under reference geometry, select plane. And our first reference is going to be this line. And we are going to be perpendicular to it. And the second reference is going to be this point. So you should have something like that and click OK. We are going to do the same thing back here. So select reference geometry plane. First reference, this line. We are going to be perpendicular to it. Second reference, that point. And click OK. Next, we are going to draw our sketch. So let's select this first plane. We'll select sketch under the sketch tab. So I can see it. I'm just going to move it a little bit here. First, I'm going to draw my ellipse. So select ellipse under ellipse. And let's draw something starting at the origin point, going up and going out. We are going to also, let me zoom in. So this point and that point should be coincident. Then I'm going to select normal two. Now I'm going to add a dimension from this point to that point. It's going to be 30. And that sketch is done. We are going to exit. And just in case if this plane is confusing, you can Select it and hide it. We don't need that one anymore. We are going to do the same thing up here. Select this top plane and sketch. I'm going to go normal two. I can't really see it, so I'm just going to move it here. Then I'm going to zoom in. I can start my ellipse on it from this point to that point and out. Then now I can go normal two. And I'm going to add a dimension from this point to that point, And it is going to be 30. Good. So you should have something like this. We are going to exit our sketch. I'm also going to hide this plane because I don't need it anymore. We are going to select this plane and start a sketch. We'll start an ellipse on it. We'll start it on this line. Make sure it's not on the center line. Just start it on that line. And draw something coming up and something coming out. We'll click this point and our spline and add a pierce relation. And we will do the same thing. Click that point and this lower line and add a pierce relation. Now let's go normal two and let's add a dimension from here. So here, and it is going to be 60. We have a fully defined sketch. We can exit out. And 
let's do some cleanup. Our sketch one, we want to hide it at this point because we don't need it. And I'm also going to hide my plane. So when you are done, you should have something like this. Now we are going to loft this into that, into that, and we will use this as our guide curve. So come to your feature, select loft, we'll select this sketch, and we'll select that sketch, and we'll also select this sketch. And for our guide curve, select the guide curve. So I'm going to move this, select the first line, which is up there. And make sure when you select this, select the open loop and click the check mark. We are going to select our second guide curve. So it will be the second line, which is the one under with that arc. Once you select it, select open loop and click the check mark to add it. Now you should have something like this. Then we are going to click OK. And that is how you create this feature. Next, let's show our sketch one again. I'm going to right click on it and show the eyeball. Then I'm going to select the front plane and start a new sketch on the front plane. I go number two. I draw my first circle here. I draw another circle here. And I'll draw another circle here. Something like that. This circle and that circle are going to be equal to each other. And let's add a dimension. This is going to be 58.1. And this is going to be 83.5. So we are going to come to the feature tab, extrude. And I'm going to move it here so you can see it. We are going to extrude it by the mid plane. The distance is going to be 65. And we are going to click the draft and we are going to add a five degree in there and click OK when you are done. So you should have something like this now. So next, all we have to do is cut a hole in it and draw our fillet. So I can select this face and come to the sketch tab and start a new sketch and go normal to. Then I'm going to select that circle, convert entity that circle, convert entities, and this circle, and convert entities. Then once I'm done, I have a fully defined sketch. Come to the Feature tab, Extrude Cut, and we are going to select up to Next, and click OK. The final thing we are going to do is add a fillet to this face. So select Fillet. This is going to be 10, and we are just going to select this face. And it should add the fillet to all three face and click OK. And the next thing we can do is add our appearance. So come on the appearance. You can select metal, polish metal and drag it on it. And this is how you create this part. If you like this tutorial and you find it valuable, please like and share it. And thank you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.